people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. How are you all this week? I hope you are keeping well and I hope you've got some sewing done wherever you are in the world. Eee! I have been getting back into my sewing groove after a number of weeks of various things in my life. Um, please see other videos for details. Thank you very much if you've been here through all of that. I really, really do appreciate it and just love having you here. Um, so thank you. I did promise that I was going to go through what my next plans were. Oh, I never not have plans. Are you the same? I was speaking to the lovely Angela from Devon Thread Tales a week or so ago and she's like, I've either got a full head of ideas or I've got nothing at all. Um, and then you sort of get this sort of paralysis really of what you can sew um, and what time you've got and all that sort of stuff. I love having a head full of ideas and because I'm quite a speedy sewer, I genuinely, um, or generally, both, um, just crack on and get that done, So, uh, which is lovely. Uh, as you may remember, I switched over my wardrobe um, just a couple of weeks ago, actually it's a few weeks ago now, it just seems, seems mad, and have really enjoyed having a think about what, I, um, what would help me to um, wear more of the items in my wardrobe. I do genuinely wear everything in my wardrobe, but just like you, I've got those items that sort of languish at the back for the one one or two occasions, but I don't really have anything particularly smart um, or fancy or anything like that. So, um, but I do, I've been thinking about enablers, I suppose is where I'm coming from in my wardrobe. And, um, so I'm going to take you through some of those things. I say that, I'm looking at the chair next to me thinking, none of those are enablers, Cara. They're all unique items. Sorry. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. But that's not, that's not what's going to happen, I don't think. But never mind. So in no particular order, let me take you through what my plans are. So what have I got coming up um, in my wardrobe, or well, my plans, if you like, and they're always going to end up in my wardrobe. I always make items that I'm going to wear. That is just a given. Um, and people ask me all the time, um, how are you so good at pairing fabric and patterns? It's because I'm looking at wearability. If I see a fabric that I know that I would be okay to wear, then I'm on a win-win situation. And it's the same with the pattern. Um, there are items in my wardrobe that are less usable items but mm, generally speaking I really want to have stuff that I can just reach for whatever the occasion is. In case you're wondering what I'm wearing today I have the LB pullover on today with matching uh, oh hang on matching Derwent trousers I'll put a picture of me in this and this was a cardigan that I bought uh, when I was in France in the Vendée I can't remember the name of the place I was at actually, beautiful place, wherever it was. And I've worn this on rotation. Ooh, love it, love it, love it. So, and, and I just put a message out on my family, um, my husband, my daughter and I, and my two best friends group to say, was it too much cream? What do you think? Is it too much cream altogether? Let me stand up. Is it too much cream going on? Um, or is it kind of cool? I don't know, I quite like it. I, I've never worn, I genuinely have never worn all plain colours together. Um, Sarah from So Sarah Style, this is your colours girl, um, you'd, you'd look amazing in this for sure. So it's all new to me, I love it, I love it. So on to plans. Uh, I am going to be making some more of the Le Rivage collection from Maison Fauve, which I can't wait. And shock horror, da, da, da. I am going to twirl something. Da. Why are you twirling now, Cara? You've made the items already. But the Tompet blouse, which I'm going to put a picture on here. This is the lovely Emily in her, um, obviously in her design and fabrics and so on. I quite fancy making a dress out of the Tompet blouse. Now, in the Q&A section on their website, a number of people have asked how um, if it would be possible to change this into a dress. And there is a, a section on, or a, a video on the Sakida blouse, I think it's called, I might not have got that right. Um, oh, it's frustrating, I'll put the name of the blouse here. Um, I'm gonna call it the Sakida blouse. Oh, that's not quite right. Anyway. 
they've done a, a video on how to extend that to make it into a dress and this the same principle applies to the Tom Pet blouse. So I do have a plan to make a blouse, a long sleeve blouse out of the Tom Pet and I might do that first. Um, in fact, I'm going to possibly, well, that's interesting because this is the fabric that I bought in France, just happens, just a coincidence that's French. And actually this fabric is available to buy um, and twice the price um, from, and there's nothing wrong with that, it's just, I don't know why I said that really, but it is, it's a fact. I bought this for five euros 60 meter, and it's currently on sale about 12 to 15 meters, uh, pounds a meter, sorry, um, elsewhere. But yes, it's available to buy. I have seen it at the Fabric Boutique, for example. I love this, it's beautiful. And I actually want to make a dress out of this using the Tom Pet Plus pattern, um, which is quite brave because I probably should make a blouse first, long sleeve blouse first, see what I think of that. But I'm going to adapt it anyway a little bit because I am not going to do cuffs, I'm going to do an elasticated cuff of some kind. Um, my thinking was that I'll put an elasticated cuff with a cuff on the end, so it's all almost like a Sort of cinched in cuff I hope that makes sense because I do like a cuff but I actually like to roll my sleeves up as in push my sleeves up all the time so um, that's my vision of that um, and actually I'm going to twirl that as an idea I know you heard me right twirl that in this fabric that I got from the swaps table at an event in Uckfield this year um, I think that was this year wasn't it and it's really silky it's very drapey drapey um i think the colors are okay for me um it's actually quite autumnal um i think that's going to work out all right i think it's actually going to look quite nice with this cardigan actually da, da, da. and maybe even a brown belt in the middle so that's that's my thinking on this what do you think um it's actually quite similar to that color of the fabric i bought in france isn't it um i thought it just look yeah i think that's going to look really pretty so i'm going to either make the blouse out of this to make sure I like the blouse because I've got the sh two short sleeve versions as you know um, I'll put a picture of me in the short sleeve versions here so you can have that for a reference so a dress a Tom Pet dress which is not part of the pattern but is part of the creativity I want to go for with that that's my current thinking so twirling I know twirling out of this um, well I say twirl totally wearable actual dress and I may actually then decide not to make a dress out of this but just make the blouse um so oh I love this fabric I love this fabric it's amazing it's actually a really nice weight to it um sort of quite a really nice um sort of it's definitely a winter weight um it's actually a crepe because it's got a sort of slight texture on it it's lovely I think I've got two and a half meters of that so I may well have I can't believe I'm just screwing that fabric up now. Um, but I may well have options for that, for that fabric. So these are in no particular order, but Tom Pet dress. Um, or just, I did actually bring the Tom Pet blouse in with me to remind you of what that looks like um, with this beautiful drape section here. Um, this is my original version. Sorry, it's looking a bit creased. Um, I then, what else shall I tell you about? Um, yeah, I did buy... So I bought the this fabric in France. I bought this wonderful fabric in France. Oh, look at this. It's just so nice. Look at the colours in that. And I think I'm I think I probably still will make an Olivia dress out of this because uh, the Olivia dress boy uh Atelier Jupe is definitely one of my favourite dresses. And I wear that a lot. I think that would just be really nice for winter. That's not high on my list of priorities right now. I'll explain in a second. Um but um, what else should I talk to you about? I have got a whole pile of stuff here, so my brain is just, I'm thinking out loud. Um, I have actually been itching to make the Andy dress by Vicky Sews. Now, I'll put the stock photo of the Andy dress in here. This is so similar to the latest release from Sew Over It. Now, I know that happens all the time. These are, um, you know, it's just a certain style of dress and different designers take their different take on it. But I have been trying to, well, I've been, I've had the Andy dress um, cut out, uh, as in a, the pattern printed out and cut out for ages. And then 
I just I was looking on I don't know pound fabrics or something like that for some um, slightly thicker um, actually what I really wanted was something like this um, something with a bit of structure to make that dress in and then I remembered I had not remembered but looked at my shelf and remembered I had this oh, oh look at this fabric oh my word so I'm going to make the Andy dress this dress in this fabric I just think that's going to look amazing I'm so I'm super excited about that actually it's a very out there fabric totally get that and I bought this from Walthamstow Market we say markets not actually the markets this, this there's lots of fabric shops on Walthamstow Street where there used to be a fabric market and no longer is or very few stalls um, I love this fabric and I think this is going to look really kind of retro um, in that Andy style and the reason I want to make it out of this is because this is a Pontaroma and I think for the Andy dress you do need something with a bit of structure um, so it's actually yeah it's going to be super comfy um, easy to wear and very out there um, I can't wait I'm really excited we've got to imagine that with uh, with, with little pumps or um, little brown boots etc or even knee length boots oh, very autumnal look going on there can't wait to get started on that um, so that's about a gazillion projects already um, when just before I went away I um, went away to France I took my trusty steed in to be serviced um, at dot to dot studio in East Hoathly. Now, if you live in East Sussex or anywhere really, um, a trip to the dot to dot studio is definitely worthwhile. So I've got something on my face. She does, uh, I think she's open from about 10 till two. But if you are making a special trip to her studio, I would just suggest giving Becky um, or Rowan uh, a call. They're the owners of the business because um, they very much are a family centric business, which I utterly admire um, and therefore do flexible working um, opening times around um, courses that they run, around um, looking after their gorgeous little girl. And just generally they they live work to live which I think is lovely that's my perception of them anyway um but they definitely their shop isn't definitely open all of the time um at you know like lots and lots of hours I apologize in advance if that's not true and they are open all the time but um even when I ring up I just check to see they're there it's a very long way of saying how brilliant they are because her range of fabrics is beautiful absolutely stunning I'd say it's the closest to beyond the pink door that you could get um, in terms of a you can go and visit shop um, so it's just lovely and um, when I before I was going I thought I'm just gonna have a quick look on their website and the ace denim from Fabric Godmother I think had just been released at this stage and certainly I had leopard print on the on my mind and I saw this on her website <gasps> just love this fabric um i don't know if it's still available so i'm sorry about that i didn't get a chance to look and it's quite unusual because it's got lots of stretch this way but not very much or some stretch that way but oh, love that um and now that i've got it i'm all of a diva um because I had already known about the receive trousers I'm pointing there. I don't know why I'm doing that because you can't see what's over there. My receive trousers are over there, just for your information. And let me put a photo of me in my receive trousers here. I just, I'm wearing these on rotation. So um, I definitely, definitely can see another pair of receive trousers made out of these. I'm going to hold fire um, for a little bit because the receive trousers are ankle length that is by design you definitely could lengthen them and there's definitely a short and a lengthen line on them but they're obviously quite a wide trouser um, so I'm not sure what impact that will have the other thing I've done is I have already cut out I know um, I've already cut out this is the receive trouser pocket um, a pair in black um, because yeah let's face it a very very wearable pair of trousers which at the beginning of, the, of this film, I said I was looking for enablers in my wardrobe. So out of everything that I've spoken about or I'm about to speak about, this is really the only enabler, isn't it? Sorry about that. I'm crazy. 
So I am probably going to hold off making these until I've made these and also have a chance to wear the beige ones. Which I, I know I showed last week, sorry. A little bit creased because I keep wearing them. Um, is this beige or is it, I don't know, what colour color you call this, taupe or something like that. Um, I love, 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 love these. Um, it's a different, it is a different style trouser for me. Um, so I, just before I go into like, well, I've already cut out the black ones, so I'm, I'm doomed on that. Not doomed, uh, it's happening. But I want to be able to see what footwear looks like now that the weather is colder because I've been wearing it with sandals. Um, definitely can still wear trainers, but for work, I just want to explore what boots look like with it, if that makes sense. So black ones are definitely happening. That's actually a given. I need to put that back somewhere sensible, otherwise I will be a pocket short. Um, and I was really excited because I had just a remnant left, um, a quite large remnant. And I was like, oh, I reckon I can make it some trousers out of that. Lo and behold, I had. Sorry, I am waffling on a lot today. Again, I'm in chatting to you as if you're opposite me mode. This is just how I am, I'm afraid. But isn't that just divine? Um, it's not quite as um, out there, I suppose, as the ace denim, which I actually definitely could see coming into my life at some stage. Um, but there is only so many trousers a person needs, isn't there? She says, um, not really, but oh, I love this. Um, but I, I don't think I'm going to the knitting and stitching show as I, as I talk to you about this. Um, I don't think I am, but if I was, and there was ace denim available to buy at the um, knitting and stitching show, I could definitely see me walking away with some of that. So we'll see, but I don't think I am um, as I speak. Uh, okay, a few more projects to talk to you about. Now, I am very, very fortunate in that Atelier Jupe reached out to me recent recently. It was actually a number of weeks ago now, um, and explained to me that they were releasing a new range of fabrics and patterns, and would I like to make something um, in order to feature it and talk to um, talk to my viewers about it here and on Instagram. I was so touched. I have done some work. Um, it's not work. Um, I've done some influencing for them before. I don't know what the right word is when I say these things. I'm always honoured when someone asks me to do this and I take my responsibilities very seriously um, when, when these sorts of things happened. And I know you will have seen um, some lovely, lovely vloggers and Beyond the Pink Door and lovely um, Kristen from Dahlia Society. Um, amongst others, uh, So Me Sunshine, have been featuring the Atelier, Atelier Jupe fabrics and patterns. And I, I have literally got a scrap of this because I am working on this currently. I'm really sorry this is a bad example, but this fabric is absolutely divine. I'll put a clip in here. Um, it, it arrived, um, I put it straight in the wash um, and couldn't help but video it. It's absolutely sensational, this fabric. I'm really sorry this bit is so creased up. It's a, it is actually a very well behaved um, piece of fabric, but I've just collected this from my remnants pile. Um, and I am going to be making the um, this pattern. So I'm going to be making the Alana dress, um, which comes with a lovely lot of options. It's got a beautiful V-neck on it here. And then you've got three options of a waistband. Um, now, I won't give any spoiler alerts on this at the moment um, because I am mid making this. I have made some adaptions or will be making some adaptions to the pattern, which I talk to you about in future video. But oh my word and oh my word, this is this is happening. And I know I've recently been talking about precious fabrics. There is absolutely every reason in the world why this would come into your collection and sit there as a precious fabric because it is absolutely divine. The colours uh, are just dreamy, just absolutely dreamy. So that's definitely on my list. So, so far definitely on my list is the, the receive trousers that are cut out in black. This is actually cut out and um, I'll be sewing this over the next few days. Um, I did have a really small remnant left over of the fabric that I was kindly provided with and I have actually cut out a sleeveless tompette blouse. Um, which I know I'll still be able to layer up with jackets and so on, as I said earlier. So that's really exciting. I can't wait to make that. And also the Andy dress is pretty much ready to go. Um, I just need to cut that out and things. I think that'd be quite a quick make. So lots and lots of plans. Um, and then I also just wanted to share with you a couple of um, uh, a couple of purchases I made. <laughs> 
from a D-Sash account, which I'm going to put the name of just here. I almost never buy fabric from D-Sash accounts. Um, and in fact, I don't even know, I, I don't think I even realised I was following this lovely lady until it popped up um, on, I, happened to, I was actually on a night out. And I thought I just couldn't resist. I bought two remnant pieces of the same fabric. Um, now you'll know I've got whippets, so this is this will help. But look, oh my word, look how cute this is. Look, I absolutely adore this. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Um, as so I've got two two remnant pieces of that, and this will very quickly be on the top of my sewing list. In fact, I've got white in my overlocker right now, so I am going to. I hope I've got enough. To make a South Bank sweater out of that. Um, uh, the South Bank sweater is the Nina Lee South Bank sweater and it's actually very similar to the LB pullover. It's got a neckline very similar to this, just a straight dress, long sleeves, easiest outfit to wear ever and then I'll be able to wear that with black leggings and boots um, over the autumn and I think I'm going to be wearing that on rotation. I believe this is actually a, I think it might be a See You at Six fabric, um, which I've, again I've never bought. But it's lovely and soft on the back, it's not too thick, but it's going to be cosy and just a whole lot of fun. Isn't that lovely? And then also, uh, I believe this is also a See You in Six fabric, this one. And uh, now I saw this a few years ago um, and I've always wanted to own something so lovely if I'm honest. It's just a beautiful fabric and it's absolutely stunning. Um, maybe not necessarily my colours, but I know it'll suit me. Again, a really soft back to it. Um, I can't remember how much is here. Um, it's definitely enough to make sort of a tunic style, um, I think, enough to make a tunic style uh, top out of. Um, if I'm honest, I would try and go South Bank, Nina Lee South Bank again in this, just because it's a dress all in one, isn't it? And just at this time of year, also certainly going into winter, I just want to be in stretchy fabric. <laughs> I do. I absolutely love wearing a um, a sweater sweater dress. So, um, oh my gosh, that was so many options and things, wasn't it? Um, and you know that I'll make all these things. I am just that prolific. But it just brings me so much joy. I just can't explain to you. I just want to get down into the camera lens and say to you, I hope you have a hobby, um, be it sewing or other, that fills you with as much joy as this does. And I am so glad to be well enough in order to to do this. Um, I, d I d actually didn't mention in my last video, I'm really sorry, I got distracted, didn't I? But um, yeah, to have all of that um, behind me, I am cancer free. They did find a very small cancer, but um, it is now out of me and done and part of my history. Um, it's still recovering a little bit, but not, yeah, I'm going to be fine. Um, to have this, to have you, to have the friends I have is oh, just as lovely. So thank you very much for being here. I would love it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Um, that is apparently how people find me um, or helps the, the algorithm do its thing. Um, but also I have a coffee account. So if you could buy me a cup of coffee um, as, as if we were having a cup of tea together, that would be lovely. Always appreciated. And as always, I love to hear from where you are in the world and what you are up to at the moment. So do let me know in the comments below. I will be back um, next week with an update, no doubt, on what I've been up to. Um, and yeah, if there's some things you'd like me to, to feature, then let me know. But I love, love to hear from you and I hope you're keeping well. Take care. Bye bye.